Atlantic City Mayor Don Guardian, who uh, was here to – oh, that's okay. You don't need that. <laughs> yeah, that costs more. Uh, we're, we're kind of talking about the excitement. We, we and you just did the TV show about the soul that came here last weekend, and the LPGA was in town. And now – We've got a great boat uh, race coming up uh, this month as well, and now it's important for us to be wa welcoming sports conference to come to uh, Atlantic City. You know, they're bringing the big boys in the industry to Atlantic City, and we want to show off our city and things. We think that we're well-versed to become a, a great conference center for, for sports uh, between Betafield and the stadium that's out there between Boardwalk Hall, certainly uh, Ocean Racing. Uh, we, we think we've got it all. We know the triathlon and marathons do real well in Atlantic City. And as we, we brand ourselves to a whole lot more than just gaming, we think that sports has a great uh, opportunity. Yeah, it, it seems that you guys are going with that method of, you know, jumping on with the youth sports, bringing families because they got to stay for the whole weekend. And when the, you know, things come in, well, the kids are playing, the parents need to do something. It's almost an all in type sure. of situation. And I, I have to tell you, you know, if you, you're with the average family and certainly with my nephews and niece, we would go to even a cheerleading competition. And once the team lost, you're out of that city. In Atlantic City, you come in on a Friday, your team loses. You're staying Saturday and Sunday. You're dining in, in fine dining and fun dining. You're shopping in Atlantic City, having a good time. If you're young enough, you're visiting the best clubs on the East Coast. Maybe the entertainment and the casinos that particular weekend appeals to you. But if it doesn't, we got the art garage. Uh, for you to uh, enjoy uh, um, among the other things for kids. You know, you have Steel Pier, you have the aquarium, you have Ripley's, believe it or not. Head on down to Margate and you have Lucy the Elephant. Yeah. So a couple of days of fun <laughs> for the whole family. I describe this, Mr. Mayor, as a great one-two punch for Atlantic City because it's not just Team 16, it's also the meetings quest. So it's really two components in the announcement today. Absolutely. I, I think that's a real important point there. So, um, you know, I'm glad that they were able to explain what Orient cheering was and uh, <laughs> rowing uh, not, not a uh, only start of uh, as sports but certainly uh, I think we're going to love having it down in uh, Atlantic City. But as we know we were talking you know with the rowing and stuff this is a very uh, you know crew is a very big sport in this area and as you mentioned the orienteering yeah. it's bringing yeah. a different person uh, or type of person to the city who may never have been Absolutely. here before. And you know, I mean, the, the uh, beautiful boathouse in Atlantic City, as well as Ventnor, yeah. and the crew teams that we have uh, currently here, we certainly should be expanding it. I mean, I can't go to Philadelphia and not go over to uh, the uh, uh, boathouse row, right. catch all the uh, colleges and the crew teams that they have over there. And I think that's exactly what we're looking for in uh, Atlantic City. Nice expansion. I hope Stockton, uh, we're, we're going to get it right eventually, and I, I hope we have a Stockton uh, crew team uh, in Atlantic City as well. Hey, uh, we're both Mayor Don Guardian in Atlantic City, and uh, how did this all, you know, was this something that they approached you? Was this something that you kind of said, hey, we need to do something more? How did this all kind of come I, I together? I have to give Jim Wood credit. I mean, when we were interviewing uh, Jim to come on and, and head up Meet AC, he said it's going to be real important to bring in a, a sports component the AC Sports Commission, uh, and then today we, we see uh, that meet AC and do AC comes to play AC. Um, Those so, logos were know, great. All of it goes great. Uh, if you're just joining us in South Jersey on 97.3 FM. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? Uh, That's I was good. Yeah. Uh, and, and Gee, were you recording that? <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, at the Soul Game last week, and yeah, I know uh, it sounds like they, they want to come uh, back. I think uh, we not only want the Soul back, but I think we're going to try to uh, talk CRDA into lending us the uh, building. It's been 40 years since Holy Spirit and Atlantic City High School Ooh, I like played that. the traditional uh, Thanksgiving football game. I think it's time to bring it back into the uh, the arena, and uh, with the uh, sod that we have there, I think we can work with uh, uh, students from both Holy Spirit and Atlantic City and build a new field and a new sports field in Atlantic City. So that's something you hope to have in this Thanksgiving coming up? We're, we're going to work on that. And <laughs> so I don't have any money, and obviously I don't have any staff anymore right. uh, as the mayor, but I still got a bully pulpit. There's right. right. no greater cheerleader for Atlantic <laughs> City. You remember, we, we talked about that this Thanksgiving up in the booth there uh, with Harry, and, and you were yeah. on there. We, we mentioned that, that it was something that used to happen, yep. and that's great to hear that that's a, a yeah, possibility now. It was either 74 75 was the last year that they did that. So right. The 40 year anniversary, it's nice to come back to that. And I'm sure you've seen that picture in the office at Boardwalk Hall where the, they actually brought the helicopter in to try yeah, and. That was Sid Asher. Yeah, that uh, is what a so great idea unbelievable. To show you how big yeah. the hall was. Yeah. And stuff. A good friend of ours and uh, a wonderful sporting arena. Well, before we let you mingle here, is there anything else you'd like to add with the announcement today? We heard a little bit of you telling some stories over here. We were listening to uh, the air feed. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, was there anything that you would like our listeners to? Uh, 
to know that you'd like to add? No, just telling you it's a great season. Our beaches are, are ready. Our, our clubs are open. The beach bars are in uh, full throttle. There'll be entertainment all summer long, and whether you're into Madonna or Boys to Men or uh, uh, Ricky Martin and stuff, all of them will be here. And next week, you have a pretty exciting announcement about the uh, um, special uh, beach events that are coming as well. But there's something free on the boardwalk or on the beach or in the back basin every day from July 4th to Labor Day. Right here in Atlantic City, beautiful Jersey Shore. Don't be sweating in Philly when you can be <laughs> chilling in AC. I like it. I like it. Well, Mayor, thanks for stopping by. Thank it's you. always good Thank to you, see Mr. you. Mayor. And uh, Mayor Don Guardian here of Atlantic City uh, joined us on the Sports Bash 97.3 ESPN. And, uh, you know, I feel like he could uh, probably sell He's the best. Pull the string. Catch up to a gentleman wearing white gloves. He could sell ice to an Eskimo <laughs> is what you're looking for, right? Uh, well, I, I tell you, and he mentioned uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, these type of things are things that they've been searching for since uh, the mayor got elected. These are the types of things that have kind of been connected to uh, his election is to bring other events. And, of course, when uh, the different casinos uh, began to close, they tried to find new ideas, and these are things they're going to try. I haven't you noticed a, a new, I guess the word would be, um, camaraderie amongst the casinos? You know, I think the properties here used to have such competitiveness toward one another. Uh, and I think uh, the phrase, Mike Gill, is that a rising boat lifts, a rising tide lifts all boats. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, with uh, some of the casinos closing, the consolidation, and yet uh, with them re recognizing, you know, look at what they're doing here, the convention center they're building, look at what they're doing next door, the outdoor concerts that are coming. It, there's a commonality to let's all win, you know, rather than have this cutthroatness against each other. Let's all find a way to win. And today's announcement for Meetings Quest and Teams 16 certainly is another step in that direction of uh, let's all win. Uh, Mike Hill and uh, Pete Thompson. It's our Tuesday with Thompson, NBC 40, uh, former sports director Pete Thompson, now uh, with Comcast Sportsnet Philadelphia. And, of course, Tuesday's right here on the Sports Bash. And when we're out on location, uh, like we will be on Monday for the Shoppy Awards up on the Ocean City Boardwalk, where, of course, you can vote this year. This is great. On our website, Pete, okay. at 973ESPN.com, the listeners this year and the supporters of the different senior athletes, you know, Tom Williams and Prime Events with the Shoppy Awards, where they're there live on Monday this year for the first time you can go on our website and vote for this year's Senior Athlete of the Year. And let me tell you, Pete, I will get the official count okay. for you I, up I would to just date. add, by the way, that I thought you were going to say for the first time, Pete Thompson will be there before 6 o'clock. I was because I, I don't have a television station. I was going to get to there. I was right. going to get to right. uh, your role on that day. But here... I just found this out. You know, Donovan McNabb hosts the uh, show on uh, NBC Sports Radio. Okay. From 3 to 6. 5 will always love you. Number 5 will always love you. You'll hear that later on tonight. Right. So Donovan's people called me yesterday. Donovan will be in Atlantic City on Monday, and I don't know why. I don't know what he's here for. Okay. But they said, hey, can Donovan come and use your studio to do his show? Uh, absolutely. And I'm like, yeah, sure. He's done it before. It's right. not the first time. Right. We showed our youth. <laughs> <laughs> I showed my youth. I, I, I told him that he could. Well, there's no studio available for him at this point right now. Ah. Somebody's show is going to have to be moved or canceled or something. Okay. I just found out, though, it's at the same day that I'm on the Ocean City Boardwalk. Right, so you won't even get to see him. Yes. Yeah, but you've seen him before. I have, but, you know, it's number cool. five yeah. will always love you. Always I will always love, love you. number five. Yes. <laughs> it's unfortunate. And but who was that that reminded you of your scheduling conflicts? You. That's correct. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, very ironic, right. I find. To, I hate I to be find, the bearer of bad I news. I find it to be very know. ironic. Yes, I do. Uh, but thanks for uh, to uh, Mayor Guardian for jumping on board with us. And, and you know, I, I do want to uh, mention, so Monday we are live on the Ocean City Boardwalk as well right. for the Shoppy Awards. And for the first time ever, Pete, you can go to our website and vote for this year's senior athletes, both male and female. Okay. And uh, I'll tell you what, this is the first time we've ever allowed someone to vote. Normally it's just a media vote. Right, I'm clicking right now. I'm looking at it right now. Well, I got to tell you, for the first time that we've ever done this. Now, you know we do Athlete of the Week uh -huh. every Saturday. Mike Frankel, uh, from formerly of NBC40, now okay. with us here yep. uh, with the South Jersey Sports Report. He'll be on Saturday from 9 to noon. Yep. And um, typically, you know, he will announce the Athlete of the Week. They uh, go on our website every single week and vote. 
Well, we have put the vote into for the Athlete of the Year awards for the Shoppy Awards this year, Pete, and uh, the response has been unbelievable. You wouldn't believe in less than 24 hours the amount of votes that have already come in for these people. And it's under Athlete of the Week here, so you go to the website, right, and then you go to Trending, and it's Athlete of the Week, correct? Yes. No, okay. actually, no. Oh. It's on our website. Go okay, to the homepage. Okay, sorry. Guide me through it. Jim Wood's going to join us yep. in a second. And uh, I'll show you where it is. But we'll okay. bring Jim in here and yeah, uh, allow him to further uh, educate the listeners out there today. We just heard <laughs> from uh, – We'll even put it right here so you can face us. That's right. We've just heard from uh, Mayor Guardian on the impact of Atlantic City uh, this event today, which, uh, first off, Jim, we – number one, above all, I thank you for this beautiful bag here, which I have told uh, Nicole that – she cannot have, even though that uh, she's a lot better looking than I am. But the bag is well, mine. You know what? The bag is the mine. Do you want a bag? You want a bag? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so not shy it's about it. Bags. <laughs> this yeah, is a, this is gorgeous. There's so a that's number you, one. Jim. Number two. I'm afraid every time I come over, it costs me something. <laughs> number two. Let me tell you. Um, the air conditioning has been broken in our studio for about four weeks now. This is a reprieve. This is unbelievable. Now and you know, I get to feel like I'm having a nice day at the beach. Are you going to become the sports pinky? <laughs> Got to do a remote? <laughs> every You want to have me here every day? I would love to have it with the air conditioner. Absolutely. Uh, but first off, congratulations on the announcement. And uh, it's just a, a great press conference. And, uh, you know, give the people a little bit of a further background on uh, the impact and what this exactly is. Well, uh, what we're what this is, you know, Teams brings in rights holders of multiple sporting events from all around the country. There'll be about 500 plus different sports rights holders. Each one of those right holders hold multiple events every year around the country. So what we're doing, in essence, in 2016, is introducing Atlantic City to a lot of rights holders who have never been here before. Some have, which is great. We can build on that relationship. And, and probably for 80% who have never been here, we can introduce Atlantic City for the future. So what it means is an opportunity for us to book more events for more greater economic impact for Atlantic City, which means more non-gaming revenue for the city as we want to continue to grow that piece. And so that's the reason why we go after events like this so that we can really help put Atlantic City on the map and, and grow our future here. Yeah, and... and if you could kind of, I know when you, Jim, were back, uh, when you guys first um, launched this whole initiative, it, uh, these are the kind of events that you've kind of targeted, these non-traditional type of things that introduce new people to mm -hmm. this area. It, it is. And I know that, you know, everybody wants to talk about Atlantic 10 basketball and, and uh, can we get major boxing events in here? And, and that's kind of a very narrow lane focus. There's just so much more than that out there. Um, there's so many different tournaments. We talked about the mutter races today and how many different mutters out there. I like to say I'm a mutter from a different mother. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but there are so many different types of events that we're dealing with. There's billiards championships. There's yoga events. Uh, there's youth events. There's so many uh, running events out there. So there's such a plethora of opportunity for us. And, and one of the things, I guess, you know, um, and if people want to try to get your insider help uh, with their events, is there a way they can uh, contact you and ask you questions and kind of get advice or even have you partner up with them? Well, we've partnered with some. You know, when it makes sense, uh, you know, we, we talked about the, be the best softball and baseball coaches. Isn't that great? 42 years, another place, and now Lenox City, they're going to call home. So if they want to, and we're partnering with them, and if anybody would like to partner with us, please just give us a contact, you know, at our Atlantic City Sports Commission dot com. Just go to our website, or they can certainly email me, jwood at com. We would uh, more than happy to, to work with any type of sporting group that's out there. Jim Wood, the president and CEO of Meet AC, joining us here in the Sports Bash on 97.3 ESPN-FM. Uh, Jim, I know with uh, today's announcement, one thing that is critical is this 100,000-square-foot waterfront conference center, which is going to open in August. If you could talk about that component and how that really spurred you on to launch what you are launching today. Well, you know, when you have great meeting space, <clears throat> especially brand-new meeting space in the form of two 50,000-square-foot ballrooms that's surrounded by 2,500 hotel rooms. That's a tremendous package. That is in very enticing to many conventions, many sporting groups. 
and uh, we're thankful you know we've got a great partner here at caesar's harris to work with us um, they want to host as many events as they can that makes sense obviously good economic sense for their building they built this to go after non-gaming revenue mm -hmm. and it's working right now and we haven't even uh welcomed our first guest the bookings are very very strong so we're just excited about the the future because there's been so much interest in atlantic city to date uh, Jim Wood is with us. He's the president and CEO of Meet AC, the Atlantic City Sports Commission, uh, which today uh, announced that teams uh, 16 September. September. At the, yeah. at the end of September. 26 this is, uh, to 29, 2016. So at the end of uh, next year, September of next year, uh, this is all going to be going. I'm sure that uh, it sounds like it's a little ways off, but uh, what happens not, between yeah. now <laughs> and then, I'm sure, is, is where you guys take over and help these uh, events get off the ground and, and, and get themselves going. Correct. Yes. How well, about Play AC, Jim, before we let you go, that the new logos that you unveiled today? I mean, I know we're on the radio, but uh, there's a, there was a baseball, right? There was a tennis ball, right? Yeah, uh, we use baseball, basketball, softball, volleyball, soccer ball. You could use a hockey puck. Uh, you could use a <laughs> what are you looking at? A hockey puck? <laughs> That's the Don Rickles uh, line. <laughs> yes, it is. We could use anything, but you know what it is? It's Play AC. You know, we've got Meet AC, uh, Do AC, but Play AC really is a is a takeoff of the other brands that we have, and that's really great. So when someone's out marketing their sport, let's say it's basketball, to 5,000 prospective uh, players, they'll have the Play AC logo with our and I'll say sports underneath it mm -hmm. with a basketball on it. So it just kind of links us to the brands Atlantic City's developing. Really cool. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, um, as you mentioned, uh, are still, this is the very new. They're not 100% uh, familiar with what's going on. So it's great to hear you uh, be able to explain a little better and uh, obviously get more information. When these events start rolling, I think people will get a uh, very clear indication of uh, how uh, helpful that uh, this has all been for them. Yeah, this is how it starts. Well, it's getting off the ground. The PT is here. My I'm kill. pleased as Jim punch. Wood, yeah. Wood. And, uh, I'm a nice guy. I'm just There's happy to, to uh, we, were get to, we get to be here. The bags are fantastic, and the climate is great. You can't be. You got a pool view. <laughs> I mean, really? I think you guys should be here every day. Well, uh, hey, anytime you guys have from, something else big going on, you let us know. Jim, it's good to see yeah. you again. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you guys. So much. Great stuff, yeah. and uh, 